on in. What's up, what's good, what's pop, what's crack, what's perk, what's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Ball, and welcome to a, yes, you can have a high value man. Episode I ain't saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. This episode going to be funny, but encouraging. <laughs> Enlightening, if you pay attention. So, uh, like I said, if you know me, grow me, sharing this can. So click, like, subscribe, share, and everything like that. Ladies, can you get a high value man? Yes, you can. Shout out to my man Aaron the Big Word Brinkley. Shout out to Mr. Ray Smith. The reason why I'm shouting them two fellas out because I asked him. I said, should I change my dress up? Because you know, Derek Jackson was always had the tight shirts on and everything like that. Maybe skull cap and everything. And he was dark skin, worked out, brother worked out, and you ladies fell for it. Attractive looking brother. He is. I'm no shade at all. That's what you, and y'all listen to him. He was saying what y'all wanted. So y'all listen. Let me get this nail real quick. <laughs> Kevin Smith. Kevin Sam. I'm sorry, Kevin Sam. I don't know why. Because Kevin Smith is a nerd. That's why. And I've been knowing Kevin Smith since. Silent Bob. Anyway, Kevin Samuels, dress nice. I, that man, listen. Cat Daddy is what somebody should have called him. Mr. Ray Smith, know what I'm talking about. Anytime an older dude dressed like that, that's a dresser. Sharp dude. I was going to change my dress. But then I realized that's part of the damn problem. You looking at how somebody dressed and how somebody looks and every damn thing. Like, you ain't paying attention to what they say. So, I'm not going to dress like that if I feel like that. I'm going to bestow upon you. Wisdom. Consider me Uncle Theo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I ain't trying to I, like I'm married. So consider me Uncle Theo, Uncle T, Mr. T, Coach T, whatever you want to call me. Ladies, I'm here for you. I'm gonna say some stuff that Derrick Jackson would say. I'm gonna say some stuff that Derrick Jackson wouldn't say. I'm gonna say some stuff that Kevin Samuels would say. I'm gonna say some stuff that Kevin Samuels would say. In essence, Theo. So, can you get a high value man? Yeah, you can. I, I know what you was told, but yeah, yeah, you can. You can. You absolutely can. There are going to have to be some things that you're going to have to do to get this high value man that you are attracted to. You don't know who you are. <laughs> so, shout out to my grandmother, Pretty May Butler. Shout out to my aunt. And Ruth Butler, shout out to my lovely mother, Paulette Butler. Know why? Because I'm in touch with my sensitive side, and I've used this side to, to have, navigate these waters. Because you, you women, come on now. Come on, come on. So, there was this sister that I was attracted to. Yeah, see, I'm finna remove y'all from this, and I'm finna insert myself so y'all can see how this goes. There was this sister. Bad. Like, I mean, like, to me, she was bad in this arena with <laughs> I mean, I know the fellas like, what? You know, she was bad. bad in this arena with you. Good, good, good God Almighty. So, I'm not going to use her name, but she, by, if she's watching this video and she listens to me tell this story, she's going to know I'm talking about her. So, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway. It's about 10 years ago. Let me. <laughs> I'm attracted to this, this young lady. I know she's here. <laughs> oh, that's that. Y'all find it? Oh, that's my lovely wife, my youngest daughter, and everything like that. She's looking for something. Uh, they didn't find it. So, back to the story. So, because I was, see, see what I did, ladies? She was here. I was here. First thing I had to do was have an honest conversation with myself. Theo. She see you? I don't, I don't think we're in the same tax bracket. And that that matters. Ladies, y'all look at money. I'm supposed to provide a protector. I bet. We ain't in the same tax bracket. I had to be seen by her. But Theo, where did you see that? I saw it at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, observation, awareness. I saw her at the club, but she wasn't that type of female. She liked to dance. And she could dance her ass off. She could. Now, she could dance classy. 
she could dance sexually, but it was always classy, even when she did the little thing. So if you a dude and you just trying to grind on and everything like that, that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> if you a dude and you didn't know how to dance, that wasn't gonna work. If you was a dude and didn't know how to speak to a, watch this, woman, wasn't gonna work. Didn't matter what tax bracket you were in. I observed all that. I saw her turn down dudes left and right. <laughs> That's what you got to do, ladies. You want that dude, that high value dude, you got to notice what he like and what he don't like. You do. I knew she liked to dance. She didn't refer to herself as a bitch. She didn't really curse. She wore sexually provocative clothing, but let's put it like this. If you old school, you're going to get what I mean when I say this. If something was on the ground, she didn't bend over at the waist. She knelt. Y'all, y'all, y'all didn't know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all didn't understand. Y'all understand. If it's down on the ground, she wouldn't bend over at her waist. She knelt. That means it was going to take a specific type of dude to get her attention, regardless of what his tax bracket was. He needed to at least know how to dance. Well, ladies, listen. Um, I don't like to brag, but I'm pretty nice on the dance floor. Like, without all the Chris Brown expertise, dance lessons, usher dance lessons, and everything like that. Theo B can pretty much get down on the dance floor. I get down on the dance floor. <laughs> that was my end. She had to see me dance. See, be, see me be able to dance with another woman and not try and overtake that woman. She needed to see how I conducted myself in public. <laughs> I know, like, damn, Theo at the club. Yeah, it's it just one one night out of the week. I had an opportunity to make an impression. <laughs> Long story short, though, when I finally put my mat down, how I came, I succeeded. High value woman, and I didn't even have a car at the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> And she was a woman of high value. She, how can I put this? She was a classy woman. She was. If you were around and she didn't believe in drama or anything like that, she was actually older than me by five years. And if I say this was 11 years ago and I was 54, I was what then? <laughs> but I wanted her. And I needed her to see me. I needed me to see her. I needed her to see me at my best. I needed her to see me as a potential mate. What did that mean? That means every opportunity I got to dance with her at the club, I danced with her at the club and I complimented her. Say so what? Yeah. I allow my dance steps, my dance moves to complement hers. Depending on what the song was, if I could tell, she took the lead. Depending on what the song was, she could tell, I took the lead. We eventually wound up in a relationship. We did. And nobody could believe it was possible. Uh, I had people look at me and say, damn, bro, you did that. Yeah. I fucked it up, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point of the story. <laughs> The point of this story, ladies, is that you can have the man that you want. There's a chance. There's a possibility. There's an opportunity. If you're willing to do what it takes to gain his attention, if you're just going to say that he should accept you as you are, and it's way too many people that say that, Mel, he didn't love me, he just said, no, hell no. Love is about compromise. I don't know why anybody keeps saying that. If you're loving, you just accept me who I am. You know, that's why your ass is by your damn self. Because you keep thinking somebody, if you flawed, it is up to you, because you're supposed to be a mature person, to correct your flaws. That ain't nothing to be bragging about because you effed up. Somebody should just take your effed up behind. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, you see that dude over there. You want him. Have you observed him? Have you noticed him? Have you put yourself in his presence? Do you know what he likes? What he doesn't like? Do you know what makes him happy? What makes him laugh? What makes him cry? I did a video yesterday and I was talking about when a man asked a woman, what can she do for him? Ladies, at the end of the day, just think about this. If you're a mother and everything you have and you have a son, that's normally the woman that we're the closest to. That's the first female we develop a relationship with. You want to know how to get the high value dude that you want? More often than not, either his mother is old or she ain't here no more. So he's looking for that woman that can fulfill that role. That role of when he's not sure everything's going to be okay, he can call her. And she's going to reassure him that everything's going to be okay. Because that's what his mama would do. <laughs> so, you got a chance. I can't say it's great. I can't say it's small. But the high value man that you're attracted to, you got a chance. The question is, are you willing to make the necessary sacrifices and changes it take to get it? That's what I had to do to get the young lady, high value lady, that I was attracted to. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me and everything like that. Listen, brothers, sisters, black love, love period, it's important. We got to get past this thing where we keep thinking men ain't that and women ain't that. Nah, have an honest conversation with yourself. It ain't every man is a dog or ain't crap. It ain't every female ain't crap. It's the ones you keep running into. <laughs> Which says a lot about you and your circle and the decisions that you're making. That's the conversation piece I had to have with myself. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.